Brown puts the ball in the air. Anthony Davis is deep at the three-yard line. Davis to the 5, 10, 15, 20. Davis to the 25, 30. Davis has two blockers out in front. They get Rudnick down. Anthony Davis on his way. 97 yards for a touchdown. Anthony Davis, a sophomore who leads the Pacific East Conference in rushing, has exploded with the opening kickoff. 97 yards is the official yardage on the kickoff return. Well, Lindsay, I just think uh, that that young man, before he's finished here at Southern California, if he doesn't win the Heisman Trophy, something's wrong. Great football player. We didn't even have enough time to tell you his statistics. He has rushed for more yards than any man at USC in his sophomore year. Notre Dame knew they were going to have to stop this young man if they're going to have a chance today. And he has exploded 95 yards with some great blocking. He had three men out in front, no, no question about it. He broke the tackle to 35 and went in easy. Hayden, Hayden is holding Ray kicks and it's deflected. It is no good. The conversion attempt fails on a deflection. So the score is Southern California 6 and Notre Dame nothing. Anthony Davis is a man who does everything. He just returned the kickoff. Now he does the kicking off. The deep men there are Dewan and Dominic to receive the kickoff for Southern for Notre Dame. Greg Marks is the man for Notre Dame who blocked the conversion attempt. Hinton and Powell put that block on Rednick that sprung Davis. Dewan is in the end zone two yards deep. Goal line five. Dewan to the 10 15. Dewan across the 20. It'll be first and 10 at the 21 for the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame. Tackle made for Southern Cal by Petrasic. So it's going to be first and 10 now as Dewan comes off the field. Tom Plymouth, the quarterback, comes on to run the attack, number two. The longest kickoff return in USC history, by the way. 95 by three others, and that's just been topped. A 97-yard kickoff return here. Dominic in motion. Plymouth keeps the ball. Penalty marker at the line of scrimmage as that was a gain of one yard by Clement. So we'll check out the penalty marker here. The referee is Charlie Moffitt today. Offside indicated against Notre Dame. So the Irish have drawn the first penalty of the day. And let's see that man, the captain of that defense, John Grant, All-American, one of the great ones. He's going to go high in the draft, no question about that. Now, notice the defense of USC, great quickness, and the key to it are the tackles in the middle man. Monty Davis, uh, they use a five-man front man, head up the center. The other two tackles, Jeff Winans and John Grant, will be down. The defensive ends will be up. At Pinnock, as the penalty was refused to make it second nine, Pinnock moves into the 28-yard line. Picks up six. It's going to be third and three and off for Notre Dame. Richard Wood from Elizabeth, New Jersey, came in to make the tackle. He is a fine sophomore linebacker. Number 83, 62, 220, and you'll hear lots from him this year and in years to come. The Trojans of Southern Cal are on their way to the Rose Bowl. The Fighting Irish at Notre Dame are on their way to the Orange Bowl. This is third down and three to go for Notre Dame. Dominic. Scramling trying to get to the first down stick. He had to get it across the 30. To about the 31. Dale Mitchell was in to make the tackle. So it's going to be fourth down and a yard to go. And here comes Brian Doherty in to do the punting. Alvarado in at center to make the pass in deep punt formation. Lynn Swan has dropped back deep now for Southern Cal. Doherty has averaged 38.1. He's a junior from Portland, Oregon. And it's taken at the 30-yard line by Swan. He is back to the 35, and he moves it up to, to the 39-yard line. Southern Cal was unable to sustain a drive, so they punted to Notre Dame. 10 minutes, 26 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Memorial Coliseum in Los Angeles, California, and a crowd of some 85,000 or possibly more on hand for this game. There goes Dominic in motion. That's Pinnock to the outside. Pinnock now racing in to the 31-yard line. Another first down. And a fine sophomore running back, Lindsay, has picked up 703 yards coming into this ball game on 113 carries for an average of 6.2. Let's take another look. This is fine blocking also. They must have found a little weakness on that right side, and Clements is exploiting it. Beautiful hole right on the right side. He cuts back to the inside for the first down. Southern Cows leading 6-0 in the first quarter. Notre Dame first and 10 at the SC 31. Andy Huff. To the 29-yard line. It'll be second down and eight yards to go. 
Andy Huff is the 212 pound fullback. Rodriguez made the stop for SC. They're trying to go inside Dale Mitchell and outside of John Grant. There might be some cross blocking over there. Clements has called the last three running plays at the same hole. There might have been different blocking, but it has been over right tackle. Ball is spotted near the 28 yard line. We're at second and seven now. Fumble, a loose ball. It's still loose. And SC. No, Notre Dame. Notre Dame has recovered it at the 34 yard line. That's Andy Huff, you see, still there getting up. Hmm. Look at Let's it again. Another look. It's a pitch, par play left. Penny cannot hold on to the football. It's a big scramble here. And it looks like 85, Dale Mitchell has the football. But he doesn't have it, and I think Andy Huff has got it on the inside. That's who had it, Andy Huff. Make it third and 13 now. Notre Dame at the SC 34-yard line. As a pop pass completes to Townsend. But a penalty marker on the play. He got to the 26-yard line. Penalty markers at the line of scrimmage. That was a third down play. That's John Dampier, the offensive captain for Notre Dame, moving up to Ace from Kermit, Texas. The referee is Charlie Moffitt. The umpire today is Edward Herbert. The headlinesman is Tom Cross. The field judge is Lou Lehman. The back judge is Bill Stanley. And the alternate today is Charles Reed. That penalty has stepped off. Offside against SC. Puts the ball at the 29. Down remains the same. Third and eight. Era Parsegian, head coach of the Fighting Irish, in front of his troops along the near sideline. Third and eight, Notre Dame at the SC 29-yard line. That's Dominic in motion to the outside. Clement decides he'll try to run it. And he is still, after a game of about a yard, it's going to be fourth and about seven. Jim Sims made the stop along with Johnson. So it's spotted at the 28-yard line where it'll be fourth down and seven for Notre Dame. And here comes Bob Thomas, the field goal man, along with Alvarado to take over at center for the snap. Be about a 45-yard attempt. kicked them longer than this this year. Got a good strong leg. It'll be from the 35, which does make it a 45-yard attempt for Thomas. It's good. It is good, and so the score is Southern Cal 6, Notre Dame 3. Now we move to further action. We have 7 minutes, 4 seconds remaining to be played in the first quarter. Southern Cal 6 and Notre Dame 3. Ray dropping back. Out to Davis. Anthony Davis. Rudnick is the defender over there. He is out of bounds in Notre Dame territory at the 46-yard line. First and 10 for SC. Well, let's take another look. Mike Ray going to the safety valve. Anthony Davis in the left flat. There's a fullback now. He cuts to the inside. Takes the linebacker inside, and he's all alone for the first down. Anthony Davis. Rudnick uh, on the tackle. Edesso Garrison's back in there at a wide receiver spot. He's from Compton, California. First and 10, SC. This is Davis. Got it up there to the 41-yard line. Picked up five. It'll be second down and five yards to go. Nasbush made the stop. He's a sophomore tackle from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Tim Sullivan up there at a defensive end position today for Notre Dame. They lost Freistraffer for the season. They lost Niehaus for the season. Johnny McKay is back in there, not 25, and he split out wide to the right side. Ray has the ball. He's going deep, and it is incomplete. A penalty marker thrown in the end zone. Penalty marker was thrown in the end zone. Swan was the intended receiver. And it was number 14, Reggie Barnett. The pass was... Naturally a deep one into the end zone, but it was underthrown, and that caused the receiver Swan to slow up. Barnett going full speed just ran right over him. Let's take a look at it. Here it is. He slows up a little, and Barnett just ran right over him. 
And so, pass interference in the end zone makes it first down and goal to go at the one yard line for SC. First and goal at the one yard line. Well, short yardage. You know, Cunningham loves to dive over that line, but I tell you, this might be Anthony Davis this day. Let's see if he gives it to him. They're both in the eye. Anthony Davis, touchdown, SC. Anthony Davis has scored his second touchdown of the day. It comes with six minutes, six seconds left to play in the quarter. Take another look at it. The fullback, pretty good, <laughs> what we call wedge blocking up front. Davis just dives over for the score. This telecast is presented through the authority of the C.D. Chesley Company. Any reproduction or use of this material without the written consent of the C.D. Chesley Company is prohibited. We'll have a conversion attempt coming now. Mike Ray. Hayden will hold and Ray will kick. Anthony Davis has carried five times for 16 yards and has returned one kickoff for 97 so far. Hayden puts it down. Ray boots it up. It's good. And the score. It's Southern Cal 13 and Notre Dame 3. The defense different on both sides for after an exchange of punts. We move to further action. Pinnock dribbles the ball. Pinnock trying to get on it. And at the nine-yard line, Southern Cal is recovered. Dale Mitchell got the football. Dale Mitchell. Well, he's a pretty unhappy young man. Eric Pinnock, number 44. Here it is again. He's had a problem like this all year long. And off. That is Eric Parsegian talking to Pinnock along the sideline. Pinnock having just fumbled the football. It gives it to Southern Cal first and goal at the nine yard. And a steal 400. And it was his 49th of the year. He's the league leader in that category. Mike Scott on the mound. Had an excellent outing last week against these Pirates in his last outing. That was Sunday in New York. And that's back to the screen. He allowed three runs on seven hits in eight innings. Walked two, struck out three, but was not the pitcher a decision as the Pirates went on and won it in ten innings, four to three. That was the first time he had gone eight innings since May the 4th. And that's high. Scott making his 20th start of the year. He's completed only one game. That was his second start of the year, going the distance and beating the Phillies eight to one. Omar Marino. This club typified by the type of player Marino is. Contact hitter, speed. Right side on the short hop. Staub got that ball. Had he not charged it, I don't think he would have gotten it. The only way he could have made the play was to charge it, and he did a good job of moving up on the ball. O'Malley on the tackle. And a good one. And for Moore has gone out. Sam Cunningham has come back in at fullback for Southern Cal. Clock is running now with 35 seconds left to play in the quarter. This is a third down play and goal to go. Here's the pitch to Davis. Heading for the flag. And touchdown, Southern Cal. His third touchdown of the day. How about this? Sophomore Anthony Davis. Let's take another look at this. Now watch the speed of Davis when he hits the outside. He turns it off. Lees has had a shot. He just outrun the angle. A big, big day for the young man from San Fernando. We'll have a conversion attempt coming now. Hayden holding for Ray. Lindsay, and you said that he didn't start seven ball games for SC. That's very true. McNeil started the first seven games. Ray puts it up, and it is wide. It's no good. And so the score is SC 19 and Notre Dame 3. Notre Dame received the kickoff, and time ran out in the first quarter with the score. Southern Cal 19, Notre Dame 3. The best of Notre Dame football from the 1970s will return after these messages. As we start the second quarter, Notre Dame has the ball second and seven at their own 30-yard line. SC is leading 19 to three. Clements is the quarterback. That goes to Juan in motion. Clements has the ball, pumps once. And hits his man up around the 45. Craney, the tight end, number 91. It is a first down Notre Dame at the 45. Let's take another look. Juan going in motion now. Clements. 
Showing a lot of cool for a sophomore. Stays right in that pocket. The last minute secondary receiver, Mike Creaney, for the first down. Here's Townsend split out wide to the right side. Dewan's in motion. Ball is loose. Might have been blown dead. Might have been blown dead before he got away. Dick Wood was the defender there. And it had been blown dead up at the 45. So it's second and 10 at the 45 yard line. Lemon still has it. Complete. Taken out to the 46 yard line. Andy Huff, the fullback. Rodriguez made the stop. It'll be third down and six. Take another look. Notre Dame flooding the right side. Man in motion. Little fake counter back up in the middle. And Andy Huff is wide open in midfield. First down. It is third, third and one. Third and one. We move to further action in the same series of plays. Notre Dame has the ball second and 10 at the SC 44-yard line. 13 minutes, 8 seconds left in the half, and Southern Cal's leading 19 to 3. Plymouth has the ball. Looking Green. back to Dominic on the screen, and Dominic now looks for running room, and he hit the 30, the 25, the 20. Dominic is hauled down by Dick Wood, number 83. Dick Wood hauled him down. It's going to be spotted at the seven-yard line. First and goal. And it put a little new wrinkle in for SC. Watch this. Clements fakes the uh, little counter and then comes back against the grain on the weak side to Gary Dimonick. Made a real good step here at the 30. The ball, he gets it all the way to the eight-yard line. First down, fine blocking out in front. And that's number 83, Dick Wood. That play picked up 36 yards for Notre Dame. This is Pinnock looking for a place to turn the corner, but cut off and picked up about a yard. It'll be second and goal. Ball is near the seven-yard line. Now, an extra tight end. Quayle has come in to replace Townsend, so Notre Dame goes into a double tight end alignment here. Second and goal at the seven yard line. This is Pinnock back to the inside and he gets just inside the five yard line. It'll be third and goal. Notre Dame trying to penetrate that Southern Cal defense. John Grant, the All-American tackle made the stop. Senior from Boise, Idaho and one of today's co-captains along with Cunningham. Townsend is back in the ball game now for Notre Dame. Quayle comes off. Third down play coming here. Pinnock and Huff are the running backs in that alignment. Dominic's in motion. Now Clements has the ball. There's the Townsend for the touchdown. Townsend, touchdown Notre Dame. His fourth touchdown of this season. Let's take another look. Tom Clements fakes the Pinnock back, and Townsend now is coming from right to left on your screen. He beats number 49, Charles Phillips. For the score. So Notre Dame now has a conversion attempt coming. That's Willie Townsend, number 80, along the sideline. And now Notre Dame takes another timeout. This is Lindsey Nelson with Paul Horning in Los Angeles, where Notre Dame has a conversion attempt coming. Doherty holding for Bob Thomas. Thomas boots it up, and it's good. And the score is Southern Cal 19 and Notre Dame 10. Now we move to further action. With 43 seconds showing on the new scoreboard clock here at the Coliseum. SC has the ball third and 33 at their 44-yard line. Jerry Potsepa is in defensively now for Notre Dame. Ray. Davis. That met squarely at the 45 by Ken Schlesis. So it'll be fourth down now and long yardage for SC. 
Clock shows 25 seconds left to play in the first half. Now, Boulware, the punter, is coming onto the field. Yeah, probably let the clock run out. Ten seconds left to play in the half. Now it's down to five and running. Four, three, two, one, and that's it. That's the end of the first half here at the Los Angeles Coliseum with the score of Southern Cal 19, Notre Dame 10. The second half of today's game will start after these messages. At the Los Angeles Coliseum, as we start the second half now, it's Anthony Davis kicking off for Southern Cal. Notre Dame has Gary Dominic and Art Best as the deep men to receive the kickoff. This is Lindsey Nelson with Paul Horning, and Southern Cal is leading by a score of 19 to 10 as we await the referee's whistle. Here comes Davis. Puts the ball up to Dominic's side. Dominic at the four-yard line to the 5, 10, 15. Dominic to the 16-yard line and perhaps the 17, that's all. We move to further action in the same series of plays. Townsend wide to the right side. Dominic's out of the ball game now. Clement still has the ball. DeWan throws a block for him. It's gun intercepted along the 35-yard line. It's Hinton with the ball. Hinton has returned it. Across the 30, and Hinton is down to the Notre Dame 25. There are penalty markers everywhere. Yeah. Going into a crowd, sophomore Tom Clement. A little disturbed with himself right there. Here's Looks the indication now of the penalty. Clipping on the run back against Southern Cal. Let's take a look at the replay and see if we can uh, find the clip. Here it is. Clements rolling to the right. Now he's rushed right here, had to throw it in a crowd. Hinton comes up with the interception. Gets by one man. That's not the clip there. Not the clip there. Fine return. He gets it back to the 25-yard line. There it is right here. Right at the 25. Can't pick up the number, but it was definitely a clip. It is first and ten since the clipping occurred on the run back. The ball is at the 41-yard line of Notre Dame and Southern Cal possession. Mike Ray up the middle and completes the swan. And swan goes to the 15-yard line. First and ten for the Trojans. For a lightning fast offensive football team, SC. Here it is again. Mike Ray from ground level. Good protection. He's, Swan is wide open in the middle. It's a real nice move here. Great speed, Swan. This whole Southern California football team, Lindsay, has got great, great speed. O'Malley finally brought him down, but it's first and 10, I see. It's a Notre Dame 15-yard line. Here's a pitch to Davis, Anthony Davis. Second effort, Anthony Davis. What an effort. Out of bounds at the three-yard line. He went out at the three as he tried to shoulder in past the flag. What a day for a sophomore running back. You know, Lindsay he scored three touchdowns in the first quarter. And I don't remember anybody ever, possibly in Notre Dame's history, scoring three touchdowns in one quarter against the Irish. Let's take a look at that. Watch this second effort. Far right, he's got some people out in front of him. Now look at that move. He got away from Sullivan, and now he turns it on. O'Malley makes a grass ready. Watch, he hits here. Now does his knee hit? Yes, it did. His knee hit about the one and a half. They got it marked at the four. So it is first down and goal to go now. First and goal to go for Southern Cal. You wouldn't give it to Davis, would you? Yes, he did, and he's going to hit for that flag. Touchback, touchdown, Southern Cal. Davis has scored his fourth touchdown of the day. Oh, he's happy. And number 77, I think he's big enough to pick him up. That's All-American Pete Adams. There's a replay. Anthony Davis for the fourth touchdown of the afternoon for the fine sophomore running back. Boy, he cuts inside and he goes for the goal line. Mahalik and Sleezus cannot stop him. Now watch this. Davis has carried 15 times for 62 yards today and in addition had a 97-yard kickoff return. He has scored four touchdowns. A conversion attempt coming now. And he's caught uh, three passes for 54. And they're going to go for two here. They're going to go for two. Southern Cal will attempt a two-point conversion. 
Same play. Davis might now throw it. it. And this time he is cut off at the pass and he's out of bounds at the one and the conversion is voided. So the two point attempt goes awry. And the score is Southern Cal 25, Notre Dame 10. Now we move to further action. At the Los Angeles Coliseum, Notre Dame has the ball. It's at the two yard line of SC, fourth down, one yard to go for the first down, two to go for the touchdown. They've always given it to Andy Huff in these situations. He has been the bread and butter football player down close to the goal line. That's best behind Huff in that eye formation. Fumble. And a fumble by Best off the tailback. Southern Cal recovers at the one yard line. Well, I was saying Andy Huff has scored 10 touchdowns this year. He's been the bread and butter. Instead, Era and Tom Clements decide to go with freshman halfback Art Best. He fumbled the football, and George Follett came up with it. Here it is on the replay. Follett's defensive tackle, number 70. He will come into view. This Best, he fumbled the handoff, another bad handoff, and he would have walked in for the touchdown if he had a hold of it. A big scramble now. Now we move to further action. Southern Cal is leading by a score of 25 to 10. John McKay, the highly successful head coach of the Trojans. McKay is one of the college head coaches who has not succumbed to the wishbone fever that has swept the country. He stayed with the basic attack that he has used for a good many years. Ray. And this one is intercepted at the 47-yard line by Mike Townsend. Mike Townsend with his ninth interception of this season. And he's a good one. Great jumping ability. Fine pass protection again. Looks as if uh, Mike Ray might be changing the play at the line of scrimmage. He's got fine pass protection. Trying to go down the sideline. He's got two men in one zone here. Ten for Swan. What an interception. Mike Townsend. With Notre Dame still in possession of the football, we move to further action. Seven minutes, 23 seconds left to play in the third quarter. Southern Cal 25, Notre Dame 10. The Irish with the ball first and 10 at the 29-yard line of Southern Cal. Andy Huff. 20-yard line to the 15-yard line. Andy Huff for another Notre Dame first down. Well, this is as good, actually, as we've seen Notre Dame offense in quite a few weeks. They really moved the football on the ground and in the air. Let's take another look at it. Andy Huff, that's freshman Art Best, just trying to get a piece. Good block by John Dampier there. Open up a big hole. We move to further action in the same series of plays. Six minutes, eight seconds left to play in the third quarter. Follett made the stop. Here comes Craney back onto the field now. Quayle comes off for Notre Dame. You may recall 1966 in this series. It was after Notre Dame and Michigan State had played to a famed 10-10 tie. Notre Dame came to Southern Cal and defeated the Trojans by a score of 51 to nothing. It was the last time Notre Dame has defeated Southern Cal. They played to a tie in 1969. Dominic's open. Dominic. Touchdown, Notre Dame. Clements faked to Huff. Had Dimonick sprung out at the corner, and he got in for the TD. Beautiful faking that time. Here it is again. Watch number two, Tom Clements. Good fake to the fullback. That's Dimonick out in the left flat, and he's wide open. Puts it right on the button, running to his left. Touchdown. Dardy puts it down. Thomas boots it up, and it's good. There's a break in the action here at Los Angeles Coliseum with the score. Southern Cal 25, Notre Dame 17. Now we move to further action. Third down and eight yards to go for SC. Big play here. They have the ball at their own 22. Ray. Now reverses his field. Looks to throw long, but doesn't. Pumps again. Still scrambling around, and Ray throws it way up the middle, and it is intercepted at the 45. Return to the 44-yard line. Townsend. Townsend got it. He has set a new Notre Dame record of 10 interceptions in a season. His second of the day. Notre Dame first and 10. The ball is spotted at the 42-yard line of Southern Cal. 
Oh, let's take a look. This must have taken at least 30 seconds before he gets the football off. Mike Ray, now he scrambles back to the right. Let's take, no, he's not open. I'll take our run to the right. Not yet. Again, he still gets to the sidelines. He's going about 65 yards now running. And he puts it up for grabs in a crowd, and there he is. Great jumping ability, Mike Towns. We move to further action in the same series of plays. First and 10 at the 11-yard line. This is Andy Huff. He got just inside the 10 and was pushed back. Well, of course, the magic of Notre Dame prevails, uh, Lindsay, with these almost take as almost as many fans here rooting for Notre Dame as there is SC. Quite a few Notre Dame Irish football fans in this Coliseum. It always has been. One minute, 32 seconds left to play in the third quarter. Second down and nine at the 10-yard line. He's going to throw Limit. that little pass again. He's open. Touchdown! What a catch. Touchdown to Craney. Craney what? got it for the touchdown. Oh, I'm telling you, he has been the star of this series. What a catch for the touchdown. Mike Craney. The score is 25 to 23. Now do you go for two? Do you oh, go one. for two or do you go for one? Plenty of time still remaining. Oh, you got to go for 119 two. in the third quarter. A field goal could still win it. If you're looking at it that way, Lindsay, I would imagine they're going to go for two. We'll find out very shortly. Clement is 12 for 17 forward passing today. It's 25 for Southern Cal, 23 for Notre Dame. Creaney had caught one touchdown pass. This Fighting game. Irish are going to go for two. Clements has the ball. And it's incomplete. Townsend, the intended receiver. Townsend was hit immediately. Got there at the same time the ball did. So it is an incomplete conversion attempt. And the score is Southern Cal 25, Notre Dame 23. Having kicked off out of bounds the first time, Cliff Brown is kicking off from the 35-yard line now, and Anthony Davis is center deep for Southern Cal. Puts it up. Davis is retreating, and he is at the three-yard line. To the five, to the 10, 15, 20. Anthony oh, yeah. Davis out to the 35, 40. He's across the 50. Anthony Davis still Unbelievable. Going. 97 yards for the second time today. Anthony Davis has run it back. It's officially what? 96. Look at the whole SC team is going after Davis. The whole 50-man squad is on top of Anthony Davis. Five touchdowns. Lindsay, I'm excited. I got to say this is one of the greatest performances, not only in college football, but in all the football I've ever seen. That's unbelievable. There it is again. Watch the block, he just streaked by everybody. And now, he's got two men to beat. He looks like he's got an angle, he looks like he's dead at the 40. He gets by him, and then it's Katie Bar the door, turn it on. Anthony Davis, his second 97 yard return for a touchdown. Five touchdowns scored today by the sophomore. He's got two more years of this, you know. So quickly, the Trojans are back out in front by a score of 31 to 23 with a conversion attempt coming here. Ray will attempt with Hayden holding for him. And it's good. So the score is Southern Cal 32 and Notre Dame 23. Now we move to further action. That's Townsend split to the left side, number 80. Best in motion. Clements has the ball up the middle and it's intercepted at the 45 and return to the 26 yard line. And you know, uh, Lindsay, when you're having a day like this, now the offense is coming on. It's going through Mr. Davis's mind is, you know, he, he knows he's having an absolutely super day. The adrenaline is flowing. This guy cannot do anything wrong. He wants to run the football right now. We move to further action in the same series of plays. Manfred Moore is the fullback in. To Ray. Ray, 25 to the 20. And Ray, putting on a move or two, goes to the 16-yard line. And he's hurt. Berserker and O'Malley. Ray is down. 
Look at a real fine backup quarterback also, Lindsey Pat Hayden. Thrown for seven touchdowns. He's moving his legs, I think. By the way, on the last carry, Davis became the fifth Trojan to surpass 1,000 yards in a season. He now has 1,001. John McKay. Face mask penalty, I think, coming up against Notre Dame. From there, it'll be half the distance. And it'll move the ball to the eight-yard line. And that could be a very big loss for SC headed for the Rose Bowl. And it's it. Face mask penalty. Naturally, automatic first down. Ray's all right. He's going to walk off. Now, coming in will be Pat Hayden. And Hayden's a real fine thrower. He's 33 out of 70. Good for 453 yards, but he's thrown for seven touchdown passes. Four seconds on the clock in the third quarter. First and goal at the eight-yard line. That's the end of the third quarter here at the Los Angeles Coliseum with the score. Southern Cal 32, Notre Dame 23. Notre Dame football will continue after these messages. At the final quarter, Southern Cal has the ball. First down goal to go at the eight-yard line of Notre Dame. Pat Hayden's the quarterback. Anthony Davis is the tailback, and here's the pitch to Anthony Davis. He got in. Touchdown! Number six for Anthony Davis for the day. Oh, I tell you, he wanted it. He got hit at the one, second effort. Eight-yard touchdown run. Hey, it's something else. Holy mackerel. Well, we've seen some good backs all year long, Lindsay, but this is unquestionably the finest one we've seen. Anthony Davis. Now watch him. He sees a little daylight, and he says, I'll see you later. I'm going into the end zone. And he does. Right here, he gets hit. Now he's not in. Now watch him. His feet come back. His balance is good, and he goes in. So now we'll have a conversion attempt coming here. Ray will attempt. With Hayden holding and Ray back in, boots it, and it's good. The score is Southern Cal 39, Notre Dame 23. Now we move to further action. Second and 13 at the 21. That's Dewan in motion. Clements. Another intercepted at the 35-yard line. Parker, Artemis Parker. And he got in for the touchdown. Artemis Parker from Sacramento took it in for the touchdown. Oh, this. But a penalty marker is down. Offside. Against Southern Cal. Nullifies the interception. Nullifies the touchdown. Nullifies the touchdown. Will make it second down and eight up at the 26-yard line. That was a 39-yard return, but it has been nullified by the offside call against Southern Cal. Now we move to further action. Six minutes, 52 seconds left to play in the game. First and 10 for SC at the Notre Dame 45-yard line. SC leading 39 to 23. There's a pitch to Davis. Look at those moves. He moves all over when he runs, down to the 32-yard line. That's a pickup of about 12. It gives him 22 carries, good for 98 yards. Let's take another look, and he has a little help on this one. This is a, actually a sweep. There's the guards out in front. That's Cunningham, a fine-blocking fullback, Sam Cunningham, and he just cuts right inside Cunningham's block. Rudney gets a piece, and Mazurka. We move to further action in the same series of plays. 4.44, showing on the clock. Now, this time it's Manford Moore behind Cunningham as the two fullbacks stay in the eye formation. And Ray goes to the air to the outside to McKay. Okay. And McKay is at the three yard line. First and goal, Southern Cal. Ricky Barnett saves the touchdown. Let's take another look. He's wide open. Little fake, Moore. Good pass. Look at that block by Adams. He's wide open over there. That's Sleaze is covering underneath. And Barnett's coming up to make the stop. Help from Mahalik. First down and goal to go for the Trojans now at the three-yard line of Notre Dame. Magnil is the tailback. Pardon. Everybody wants Davis back in there now. But it's Magnil and Cunningham in the eye for this moment. The pitch to Magnil. 
And he was stopped short, about a foot short. And the crowd wants Davis. The crowd wants Davis. Second down and goal to go. That's not Davis. Davis is along that sideline, number 28 right there. Coach John McKay facing there in the dark slacks and the white shirt. He's got McNeil at the tailback again. Cunningham is his fullback. Cunningham pushed back. Cunningham pushed back. <laughs> Third down and goal to go. One of the few times you will not see Cunningham dive over on short yardage. O'Malley met him there standing up. Here comes Manford Moore now, the fullback. And they might dive Cunningham here if McNeil goes out. And McNeil's going out. So characteristically, they would line Cunningham up behind Manford Moore and dive him from inches away from the goal line. 250 showing on the clock. That's Cunningham behind Manford Moore. Cunningham touchdown, Southern Cal. Two stop, isn't it? Take another look, Sam Cunningham. Oh, he gets the tough yards for him, and this is how he usually does it. Can he jump? Well, I tell you, that's a little dangerous too, but he, he never gets hurt. So it is 45 to 23, and a conversion attempt is coming here. Now Ray will attempt it. Aiden is holding for him. It is no good. It is no good. It is wide. Now we move to further action. With 19 seconds left to play, the Irish have the ball on the SC 41-yard line. It is fourth down and nine yards to go. The one in motion. Clements driving back. Pumps once. Was hit just as he started at arm forward. He had started the arm forward, but it's a fourth down play, and the ball will go over on down. First and 10 at the 41. No fumble. Incomplete pass on fourth down. First and 10, Southern Cal at the 41. Clock says 15 seconds left to play. Notre Dame has no timeouts remaining. And the hero of this day has been Anthony Davis. And what a day he's had. Pat Hayden is in now as the quarterback. Garrison is wide right. Boulware is up in the slot. Hayden runs the option play, keeps it up to the 50. Gets across to the Notre Dame 42 yard line before he's pulled down. Rudnick brought him down. There's the big clock right there. The peristyle end of the Los Angeles Memorial Coliseum. Southern Cal leading 45 to 23. John McKay, head coach of the undefeated untied Persian. Clock is running four seconds, three seconds, two seconds. One second, and that's it. And there goes McKay up on the shoulders of the Trojans of Southern Cal who have finished their regular season undefeated, untied. A final score was Southern Cal 45, Notre Dame 23. We'll have the wrap-up of today's game right after these messages. This telecast was a rebroadcast of the classic 1972 University of Southern California versus Notre Dame football game. Notre Dame finished the 1972 season with an 8-2 record and were ranked number 12 in the final football polls across the country. against the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame. 
SC have from linebacker number eight. He was All-American last year, and he is the key to SC's defense. He's big. Watch him right in the middle. Wherever the ball is, you're going to see Mr. Wood. Emily is a split end number 84. Casper's the tight end number 86 for Notre Dame. This time off the tail of the tandem, it's Wayne Bullock. And he is stacked up by Charles Anthony, linebacker along with Wood. Dick Wood and Anthony converge to make the tackle squarely at the 35-yard line. It'll be third down and two yards to go for Notre Dame. Frank Pomerico at offensive guard. Mark Brenneman is at center. Jerry DiNardo at guard. Steve Sylvester at tackle. That's the offensive alignment for Notre Dame. They're running out of a power eye formation. Dominic. He got the first down, Notre Dame. We move to further action in the same series of plays. We're in the first quarter, 11 minutes, 29 seconds left to play. There is no score. Notre Dame has the ball. Bullock, the fullback, stopped just outside the 35-yard line. Did not get first down yard. It's going to be third down, about a yard to go, a fourth down a yard to go. Wood and Jeter made the stop. I think they're going to go for it. Fourth down and about a yard to go. Johnny McKay along the sideline, head coach of the Trojans of Southern Cal. Notre Dame's going to try to pick it up here now. It's a long yard. Outside the 35-yard line of SC. And they'll come up in a power eye formation. Dominic's on the tail of the tandem. Bullock is the fullback. Penalty marker is thrown. That'll cost them five. Delay of game. Ooh, boy, what a big penalty that was. Notre Dame could have picked up a big first down and might have got an early break here, but of course this will uh, be a fourth down situation to bring in the punter, Brian Darty. Eric Parsigan, head coach of the Fighting Irish. Mm. Well, what a dangerous man they have back there in Lynn Swan and Anthony Davis. Two pretty good punt return men, I would say, wouldn't you, Lindsay? They're that, and Dougherty's in punt formation for the Irish. Kicked over to Davis side of the field, out of bounds. Going to be lined up at the eight-yard line. First and ten for Southern Cal at the eight. We have ten minutes, 15 seconds left to play in the first quarter. There is no score. Southern Cal has the ball first and 10 at their own eight-yard line. Moore is the fullback, number 44. That's Swan in motion. Hayden has the ball. Goes it out to Swan, incomplete. Luther Bradley, number 20. A screen to Lynn Swan was broken up by Luther Bradley, the freshman. Boy, what a year he's had. He's got three interceptions. It is second down and 10 yards to go for the Trojans. They have the ball at their own eight yard line. They're not bashful. Come out throwing on their own eight. Diggs comes in now and Swan goes out for Southern Cal. Steve Riley at tackle. Bill Bain at guard. McCaffrey at guard. Or rather at center, Mike Cordell is at guard. Brown is at tackle. Anthony Davis. Number 28, out to the 13-yard line. A gain of five, it'll be third and five. They're having a little talk down there. They're naturally, Anthony Davis, with all the publicity, that defense is going to try to stir him up, talk to him, get him thinking anything but running with the football, try to get him a little bit perturbed. They do that to great backs, and, of course, the great backs will not listen. Juan has come back into the ballgame, number 22. He's a fine receiver. It's third down, five yards to go now for Southern Cal. Running out of an eye formation. Hayden. He got rid of it. He got rid of it incomplete. An incomplete pass and almost a safety. That's Mike Fanning, number 88, right in the middle of your screen. Let's take a look. Here's Hayden. He's got enough time. Everybody picks up the blitz pretty good. Now he rolls out to the right. Fanning and Brown are right there. Incomplete, almost intentional grounding. So it's a punting situation now, fourth and five. Lucas is back to do the punting. Bob Sonat is in single safety for Notre Dame. 
Lucas kicking from his own end zone. It's time short. Out of bounds. Going to be lined up at the 28-yard line. Partially blocked. First and 10 at the 28-yard line. We move to further action in the same series of plays. Here comes Thomas on to try the field goal now. He is tied with Hempel for the most field goals in a career at Notre Dame 15. Has a chance, if good, to set a new career record. Line of scrimmage is the 15-yard line. Seven minutes, 12 seconds left to play in the first quarter. There is no score. Well within his range. It's a 22-yard attempt, which will make it 32 in college football. It's up. And it's good. And the score is Notre Dame 3 and Southern Cal nothing. Now we move to further action. Four minutes, 40 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Notre Dame 3, Southern Cal nothing. First and 10 for the Trojans at the 12-yard line of Notre Dame. Anthony Davis. Anthony Davis. And he is out of bounds at the two-yard line. And he says to the referee, get out of my way, baby. Anthony Davis, a great back, Lynn. Notre Dame will put in Nas Bush and Drew Mahalik on short yardage situations now. Goal line defense. Second down, about a foot to go for a first down at the two-yard line. They're going to measure for a possible first down. Bring the chain all the way over to the sideline before moving the ball to the inbounds marker. A little short. Lacks about a foot, so they'll use the chain now to spot the ball at the inbounds marker. Which it's much better as far as uh, thinking offensively to be second and short here on the, uh, well, call it the two-yard line. They can waste it down, pick up the first down, and have four downs to get it over if they're short. Notre Dame will be in a gap defense. They'll be in all fours, submarining, trying to hit the gap. Four minutes, 29 seconds left to play in the first quarter. It's Notre Dame three, Southern Cal nothing, but Southern Cal has the ball at the two-yard line. Hayden he don't trying to pick up the first down, kept the football. Now, did he pick up the first down? Only needed about a foot. Jerry Mark Bright, the referee there, in the white cap, and he says, bring out the chain. Let's see. It appeared that he picked it up. Well, he only needed about a length of a football. Now the measurement for the first down. First and goal to go for Southern Cal. Ball is inside the two-yard line. There comes Moore back in at fullback now, and Gray goes off. John McKay has been shuttling his fullbacks in and out, bringing in plays. Split in to the right is McKay. I number think 25. number 28 will get this call. Anthony Davis pushed back at the goal line. He did not get in. He did not get in. He was pushed back at the goal line. It'll be second and goal now. Inches away. Well, it's a little bit different this year and not having Sam the man Cunningham in that fullback position, of course, never stopped in his college career on short yardages. And of course, they're going to go uh, to their great running back, Anthony Davis, possibly. Fumble. Fumble. Fumble on the snap. Fumble on the snap as Hayden took the ball from center. He fumbled it. Southern Cal retains possession. Third down and goal to go. Here it is again, the bet. Not actually a bad snap, a mix up between the quarterback and fullback, and they were lucky to get it back. McCaffrey recovered the fumble, the center. Manfred Moore is back in his fullback now, number 44. 
Moore and Davis in the eye formation, and Hayden wants a little quiet so he can hear starting signals. Clock shows two minutes, 39 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Notre Dame is leading by a score of three to nothing. Third down, goal to go. Here's the pitch to Anthony Davis. Touchdown, seven count. Well, that's one. Let's take another look at it, a little sweep. Sweep to the right, there are the guards, 66 and 71, they're pulling. And Davis is a sprint to the goal line, he gets in easy. We have a conversion attempt coming now. Chris Limahalu. Limahalu puts it up and it's good. And the score is Southern Cal 7, Notre Dame 3. Now we move to further action. Dominic is the wing back to the left side. 20 seconds left in the first quarter. Goodman in motion. Dominic closed off just as he got the football for a loss of two yards at the 46 at second and 12. Anthony made the tackle. Clock is running four seconds, three seconds, two seconds, one second. Time has run out in this period. That's the end of the first quarter here at Notre Dame Stadium with the score. The Fighting Irish 3 and Southern Cal 7. With the score still the same, we move to further action in the second quarter. Cloudy, overcast. But this stadium is packed and jammed. One of the most glamorous of all the intersectional series in college football. Pennick. Pennick at the 32-yard line. Now, did he get the first down? That is the question. It is very close. Oh, it is awful close. They're going to bring out the chain and measure for the possible first down. The Irish trying to keep their drive alive. It's going to be short. Error elected in the first quarter on fourth and short to go for it. He possibly will here, trailing by four points, seven to three. The ball is at the 32-yard line. Fourth down coming up. It is inches short. The Irish will go for it here. Nine minutes, 19 seconds left to play in the first half. Southern Cal seven, Notre Dame three. This is where the offensive linemen feel the pressure. You got to gut it up right here. This Bullock. is where football games are won and lost. They're running unbalanced, strong right. This is best for the first down. Depending on where that man in the striped shirt elects to put it down. They're going to bring the chain out again. I think they got it this time. Either Notre Dame retains possession or the ball goes over, depending on this measurement. They got it. First down, Notre Dame. We move to further action in the same series of plays. Six minutes, 55 seconds left in the first half. Southern Cal 7 and Notre Dame 3. Dimley going far out to the right side. That's Pinnock set in the slot right. That's best in motion. Bullock has the ball. And the fullback moves through to the 13-yard line. Wood made the stop. A gain of 10, but it'll be third down. Oh, Mitchell also on the play. Good call by Clements that time. They caught that SC defense probably thinking pass a little bit more than a run, just blocking up front. It could have been a cross blocking. Good hole. Brenneman, Pomerico, and Donardo. Bernardo and Pomerico, the guards, Brenham in the center. Come up unbalanced right again now. Third down and about three. A keeper. Yeah. That's Gary Jeter from Cleveland, Ohio, who made the tackle. Pulling Clements down at the 16-yard line. So now... 
The field goal unit comes on. Five minutes, 42 seconds left to play in the first half. Bob Thomas will attempt. Doherty will hold at the 23. That makes it a 33-yard attempt. And it's good. And the score is Southern Cal 7, Notre Dame 6. Now we move to further action. One minute, 55 seconds left to play in the half. Art Best is back in there now. Bullock is the fullback for Notre Dame. Second and nine at the Southern Cal 22. That's Best in motion. We're gonna roll out right. Clement. What a catch. At the 13-yard line, Dimmerly made a diving catch. Let's take a look. He might have saved an interception, too. Clement's a little bit undecided, but he saw them. What a beautiful move. Dumbly comes back for the football. Now watch it. He's at the top of your screen. It's a turn-in pattern. He's waiting for him to turn in. He's throwing on the break. It looks as if it's coming right into the SEC, uh, SC man's hands for an interception. Dimmerly catches it for a big first down. Make it well, close it's, to a first down. It's a little short. It's going to be third down, about a foot to go. Third and a foot to go. The ball is squarely at the SC 13-yard line. One minute, 45 seconds left to play in the first half. Southern Cal 7, Notre Dame 6. That's best in motion. Clements gets the first down. Inside the 10-yard line at the 9. Stewart made the stop. It is first and goal, Notre Dame, at the SC 9-yard line. Take a look, quarterback sneak, watch him. Takes a step to the right, little influence, makes a defensive lineman go to his left. He cuts back over Pomerico, who's made a good block for the first down. Here's a pitch to Pinnock. No gain. Now he breaks the tackle, and still no gain. Second and goal at the nine-yard line. Marvin Cobb made the stop, and now Notre Dame takes a timeout. We have one minute, seven seconds left to play in the first half. Southern Cal, seven, Notre Dame, six. Notre Dame has the ball, second down, goal to go at the SC nine-yard line. This is best. He gets to the one-yard line. Notre Dame has one timeout left. Anthony and Wood made the stop. Let's take a look, a running draw with Art Best coming in motion. Now watch the blocking up front because that center makes a good block, turns his man to the left, tackle, makes his block inside he's got some people out in front it gets down to the two Notre Dame timeout 59 seconds left to play in the first half SC 7 Notre Dame 6 third down goal to go at the two yard line a double tight end alignment Weber's in the ball game now for Notre Dame Pennock in motion Bullock did he get there he's a little short They've got to hurry. There's no timeouts left, Lindsay. The yep. clock is running. 47 seconds. They've It'll got to stop it. Fourth down and goal to go. Inches away. Clock says 40 seconds. So this is it. Bullock is the fullback. Clements wants quiet. Bullock wants a touchdown. Clements. Touchdown. Notre Dame. Clements, watch Pomerico, the left guard. Steve Neese, the left tackle. Again, Clements, a little step to the right. And he comes in easy over Pomerico and Neese. And now a conversion attempt coming. Doherty will hold. Bob Thomas will attempt the conversion. It's up. It's good. And the score. It's Notre Dame 13 and Southern Cal 7. Bob Thomas will kick off now for Notre Dame. Anthony Davis is on the goal line to receive the kickoff. Davis, one yard deep. Goal line 5, 10, 15. The 20, turning his way across the 25-yard line. Novikov made the stop. The injured player. Bob Zanotte, I believe, was shaken up on the kickoff. 
little, little dangerous running down on those kickoffs. The wedge comes at you. You've got a. That is not being carried off. Looks like Ball a knee. spotted at the 24. First and 10, seven count. 27 seconds on the clock. Hayden is the quarterback for the Trojans. Swan made the catch, but he's pulled down at the 28 by Luther Bradley. Ooh, the Irish are fired up. Luther Bradley. Vicious tackle on Lynn Swan. Seven cows, takes the timeout. Here it is again. Hayden, quick release to Lynn Swan, the All-American candidate, and watch this tackle. That's the way you hit somebody. At Notre Dame Stadium, we have 16 seconds left to play on the half. Notre Dame's leading 13 to 7. McNeil is in there now. For Southern Cal, second and six at the 28-yard line. Hayden drops back to throw. And finish up there. At the 48-yard line by Luther Bradley. First and 10, Notre Dame. Luther Bradley's fourth interception of this season. Well, this freshman's going to be... Great football player. He's had a great year so far. Watch. He's a strong safety position. The ball is overthrown. They're trying to hit Swan in the middle of that zone, and Bradley makes a good reaction for the interception. There was no further scoring in the second quarter, and the half ended with the score. Notre Dame 13, Southern Cal 7. Notre Dame football will continue after these messages. Bob Thomas will kick off now for Notre Dame as we start the second half, and... That is Anthony Davis in the end zone to receive the kickoff. A sellout crowd on a gray day in South Bend, Indiana, as Thomas puts it up. Davis at the four-yard line to the 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. And Davis gets to the 36-yard line. Southern Cal will start their first and 10. Let's take a look at the run. Like trying to kick it to the left corner, hoping to break up the wedge blocking of SC. Anthony Davis, he broke two last year against the Irish. He gets it back to look past the 35. Fry made the tackle for Notre Dame. It's first and 10 SC at their 36 as Hayden is the quarterback. Off the tail of the tandem, it is Anthony Davis carrying out across the 40-yard line. Rudnick made the stop along with Greg Collins. Again, a four, it'll be second down and six yards to go now. For Southern Cal, Notre Dame is leading by a score of 13 to seven. We are early in the third quarter. Ken Gray comes in at fullback. Manfred Moore goes off. Coach Johnny McKay of the Trojans of Southern California has shuttled his fullbacks in and out all day. Davis again. Trying to get first down yardage, and he got very close. Well, it little, looked like there was a little movement at that offensive line. Actually, the story in the first half, Lindsay, was Notre Dame's ability to control the football. They ran off 53 plays from a line of scrimmage and only 32 for USC. That is actually their, uh, USC just picked their, their eighth first down. Notre Dame picked up 13 in the first half. And uh, as far as total yards are concerned, USC picked up only 64 yards running and passing, where Notre Dame picked up 172 yards. Alan Carter's in their tailback now, and Anthony Davis is out. Here's the pitch to Carter. He's pulled down at the 50-yard line after he picked up four. It'll be second out and six yards to go at the 50. Mahalik and Potempa made the tackle for Notre Dame. McKay, number 25, is in its split in. Here comes Davis back in, and Carter goes off. Alan Carter going off for Southern Cal. McKay coming wide right in this offensive set. Obradovich, number 89, is the end at the top of your screen. Anthony Davis. Anthony Davis moving through to the 42-yard line. First down. Rudnick made the tackle for Notre Dame. And he has come out. A two first downs on the ground. Of course, it, when this man he gets a little opening, he cracks it, Lindsay. Great speed from a deep eye and a power formation. Now watch the fullback. 
He's in front of him. He leads the way. There's the double team right there. And Anthony Davis hits the crack for the first down. Southern Cal was unable to sustain a drive, so they punted to Notre Dame. 11 minutes, 25 seconds remaining to be played in the third quarter. Notre Dame is leading 13 to 7. First and 10 for the Irish at their own 15-yard line. It says Pennock. 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 And Pennock at the 40, 35, 30. They're not going to get him. Pennock has gone all the way for a touchdown. 85 yards. And he is mobbed in the end zone. Let's take a look. Eric Pennock coming of age, the longest run he's had since in a Notre Dame uniform, and he breaks it. Well, I think Eric Bush has been waiting for this young man to do this, and he couldn't have picked it at a more beautiful time. Pennock goes 85 for the score, and watch this. Whew. Notre Dame ran out of a double tight end set. They had Casper and Weber in, and a double tight end set as Eric Pennock broke it for 85 yards and a touchdown. And this stadium is a bedlam. Era Parsegian with Pennock. I got a little excited in that run. Lindsay, there was some superb blocking up front in that double tandem tight end situation. There was a hole at the line of scrimmage, and he broke it. Doherty will hold now for Thomas on the conversion attempt. Hardy puts it down, Thomas boots it up, and it's good. And the score is Notre Dame 20, Southern Cal 7. And now Bob Thomas will kick off for Notre Dame. Anthony Davis is deep, but it is fielded instead by Carter at the 8-yard line, 10, 15, 20. Part of the 25, and Carter is brought down. SC will start first and 10 at the 29. Lopinski made the tackle. Boy, the chan of defense goes up in the Notre Dame rooting section. Well, they waited for this for seven years. Notre Dame has it won in this series since 1966. Pat Hayden is back in at quarterback now for SC. We have 11 minutes, six seconds left to play in the third quarter. Notre Dame 20, Southern Cal 7. Hayden. Swan incomplete. Lapinski covering number 26 on the far side. Second and 10 at the 30 yard line. That is Swan far to the left side. McKay to the right side. The chant is beat SC. Hayden. Complete this time to Swan. Lefinski made the tackle. The ball is at the 43-yard line. A penalty marker is down, and McKay is down. Let's take a look at it. Swan working on Lepinski now. Rudnick might have been hurt on the last punt. He's the normal cornerback. Lepinski's in. Beautiful pass on a square-out pattern. He was open last time. He said, let's come back with it. Lepinski makes the tackle here. It's a first down USC. It is a personal foul against Notre Dame. A personal foul signal. And that puts the ball in Notre Dame territory. First and 10 for SC at the 42-yard line. First and 10 for Southern Cal at the 42-yard line. Hayden throwing, and throwing. it's taken by Swan inside the 30-yard line. And Rudnick the, covering. Rudnick's back in. Of course, Swan, pretty tough to cover that young man, man for man. Great pro prospect. Got all the ability. Ball is spotted at the inbounds marker at the 27-yard line. Can you hear him? 
could be that Barnett is not in. Lipinski's moved over on the left side now, Lindsey. He might have been thrown out of the ball game for a personal foul. First and ten. Anthony Davis. Boyd Progress is going to be marked at the 26-yard line. Greg Collins met him there again of a yard, second and nine. Let's take a look at this defense who has contained the All-American running back. He has not picked up over 40 yards rushing today. He had 20 in the first half, and he gets popped right here. Whew. 50, Greg Collins. Ten minutes, ten seconds left to play in the third quarter. Hayden, going long, Swan, touchdown, touchdown oh. Southern Cal, what a catch, and boy, he did a tightrope right on the end zone, I put SC right back in his football game. So now we'll have a conversion attempt coming. Chris Lamahalu will attempt. Adolph is holding for him. It's up. And it's good. And the score is Notre Dame 20, Southern Cal 14. With the score still the same, we move to further action in the third quarter. Now Era has another decision. Fourth down. Go for it. Or Doherty, if he would attempt a field goal, be a 55-yard field goal with the win. Cornman's coming into the lineup. They're going to go for it. They're going to go for it as Cornman comes in at fullback, number 15. It's fourth down and less than a yard to go. The ball is between the 37 and 38-yard line. Three and a half minutes left to play in the third quarter. Notre Dame is leading 20 to 14. They want to retain possession here if they possibly can. That's Weber, the tight end of a 91, getting a line there. They're going to go out of power eye formation. Now the ball is unbelievable. Off and it's a first down. As Bullock picks it up. Bullock at the 32 yard. Cornman, I beg your pardon. Cornman, the fullback. Look Cornman. what I found. That's the best handoff he's ever taken. Complete mix up. The snap was not good. The exchange was fumbled. It fumbled right into Cornman's hand for the first down. Now Bullock replaces Cornman at fullback. It was Cornman for the first down at the 32-yard line of Southern Cal. Pennock, the pitch to Pennock. Inside the 25 to the 23. Anthony made the stop. What a day that young man's having. Number 44, Eric Pennock. Let's take another look. Here he comes in motion. They pulled Donardo. Only one guard pulling. Bullock makes the block to the outside. He cuts back inside. He's picked up eight. We move to further action in the same series of plays. 45 seconds remaining to be played in the third quarter. Ball is just inside the 15-yard line. Doherty will hold at the 22. That makes it a 32-yard attempt. Thomas has had two field goals today. Boots this one up. And it's good. And the score is Notre Dame 23, Southern Cal 14. There was no further scoring in the third quarter, and the period ended with the score. Notre Dame 23, Southern Cal 14. We'll be back with more Notre Dame football. Score is still the same. We move to further action in the fourth quarter. Ten minutes left to play in this ball game. Notre Dame 23, Southern Cal 14, but the Trojans are driving first and ten at the Notre Dame 40-yard line. Hayden. Throws on the run, and at the 25, it is complete. Obradovich again. Obradovich and Townsend was the defender there. Another first down SC at the Notre Dame 25. Let's take a look. This is the second time in a row Hayden's been in trouble and has turned it into a first down. From the eye. 
Oakback staying in the block. He's rushed by Potempta there. Gets around to the right. Then he spots his tight end free. First down. Ken Gray comes into the ball game at fullback now. Manfred Moore goes out for SC. That's McKay wide to the right side. Anthony Davis is the tailback in the I formation. Here's Davis. Turns the corner. Goes out of bounds inside the 20 at the 19 yard line. Luther Bradley ran him out. Again, a six. It'll be second down and four yards to go for Southern Cal. Number 28, Anthony Davis. Manfred Moore comes back in at fullback. Gray goes off for Southern Cal. Second down and four yards to go for the Trojans of Southern Cal. Swan in motion. Anthony Davis. Fumble. Fumble. Got away. Notre Dame recovered. Take a look. Here's Davis. His tailback position. Double team on Potemp in the middle. He's got the football here. There's the hit. I think it was Fanning who knocked the ball loose. And there's a host of navy blue jerseys on the football. Luther Bradley, I think, got it. In the next series of plays, Notre Dame was unable to move the ball, so they punted to Southern Cal. We have five minutes, 44 seconds left to play in the game. Notre Dame 23, Southern Cal 14. First and 10 for the Trojans at their 26. Hayden retreats to throw. Goes out into the flat and it's completed out there to McNeil. McNeil up the sideline. McNeil across the 45. Finally stops at the 49-yard line. First and 10, Southern Cal. Mm, fine move by McNeil. Let's take another look. Just the uh, secondary receiver this time. Watch McDill at the top of your screen to the right. He comes out in the flat. Hayden spots him immediately. He makes a real good move here about the 30-yard line. He's hit pretty good. He's 6'3", 220 pounds. Got good balance. Fine running back. Finally pulled down short of the 50. McNeil goes out, and Anthony Davis is back in a tailback now for Southern Cal. Hayden. And he is dropped at the 36 by Willie Fry, number 94. A freshman. 6'3", about 235. Willie Fry. Let's take a look. Fry's defensive right end here. The fullback here is his responsibility. He lets him go right through. It looked as if it could have been a screen. Big loss. It is second and 23 now at the 36. A light misting rain is falling here. McNeil is back in for SC. Aiden retreats. Throws long. McKay has it at the 40-yard line. He drops the ball. And Notre Dame is on it. Has recovered the fumble. It is Greg Collins on the ball, number 50. Well, yeah, it's been the difference in his second half. A couple of turnovers. Hayden. He's got McKay for the first down. Barely one yard good for the first down. He's hit. Fumbled. Here comes Greg Collins for the intercept. And Luther Bradley again comes up with the play. This telecast is presented what a to day the that young of man the C.D. Chesley, Chesley Company. Any reproduction or use of this material without the written consent of the C.D. Chesley Company is prohibited. We move to further action in the same series of plays. Clock is running with exactly three minutes left to play in this game. Clements. Ball got away. Does about it. It's Notre Dame's day. Fumble. Oh. Southern Cal is recovery. With the Southern Cal, number 90. On the recovery for Southern Cal, George Stewart, a defensive tackle. So now the Trojans get it first and 10 at the 47. Let's take a look. Quarterback sneak. Influence to the right. He cuts over, picks up three. A fumble. Stewart recovers. We have two minutes, 42 seconds left to play in the game. First and 10 for SC at their 47-yard line. Hayden going long. And it is intercepted by Bradley. 
Luther Bradley. Luther Bradley intercepted his second of the day. Oh, his what? fifth of the year. Let's take a look. Luther Bradley, if he's not the defensive player of the week, well, something's wrong. He's been all over this football field. Hayden, somebody made a wrong cut. He was expecting him to cut out. He cut on the inside. And here comes the strong safety, Luther Bradley, the second interception of the day. And there's a timeout on the field. We move to further action in the same series of plays. The Trojans of the University of Southern California defending national champion. Notre Dame has not beaten them since 1966. Paris, the fullback, up to the 43-yard line. It'll be second and six there. Charles Anthony made the stop. Clock is running with 50 seconds left. Notre Dame 23, Southern Cal 14. Clock continues to run as this crowd is getting ready to stream onto the field. 30 seconds left to play in this game. Clements to Paris. 30 yard line and inside. At the 26, Artemis Parker made the stop. First and 10 for Notre Dame Ooh. at the 26-yard line. And now it's a personal foul. Oh, Paris punished Artemis Parker, the safety man. He ran right over him, flagged down. It's going to cost SC another 15. The clock is stopped now with 17 seconds showing. The penalty is marked off. Personal foul against SC as you look along the Notre Dame sideline. And there's the Aaron. He's game. already besieged by his players. I think he might get a ride today, Lindsay. Right out of this stadium. I don't think uh, he might float out as it is. A big win for Aaron Parsegian. Southern Cal takes a timeout. With 17 seconds left to play, and Notre Dame is leading 23 to 14. First and 10, they have the ball now at the 13-yard line of Southern Cal. Paris, the fullback carried. Anthony made the stop. The clock is running now with 10 seconds showing, and it is being counted down by this crowd, and here they come. Four seconds, three seconds, two seconds, one second. This ball game is over, and there goes Aaron Parsegian. On the shoulders of the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame. We invite you to join us next week for the Notre Dame Navy game from right here. This is Lindsay Nelson with Paul Horning saying goodbye. The final score was Notre Dame 23, Southern Cal 14. We'll have the wrap-up of today's game right after these messages. 1773 University of Southern California versus Notre Dame football game. Notre Dame finished the 1973 season with a perfect 10-0 record and were ranked number one in the final football polls across the country. Notre Dame defeated Alabama in the Sugar Bowl 24-23. Off right to left, dropping back deep to receive it, Gordon Jones and Elliott Walker for a pit. And Dave Reeve puts it downfield. Into the end zone, across the end line, Reeves kickoff. A touchback will be brought up, put in play first and 10 at the 20-yard line. A bright, sunny day and a crisp day. There was snow in Pittsburgh yesterday. Artificial turf here, of course. Coming out on the field now to run the attack is Matt Cavanaugh, the quarterback. Cavanaugh and Robert Haygood have alternated. Cavanaugh's a sophomore from Youngstown, Ohio. 19 for 37 forward passing, 51.4%. Three interceptions and six touchdowns. Tony Dorsey is 33, Elliot Walker is 34. Cavanaugh's going to pass on first down. Right his tight end, Jim Corbin, incomplete. Oh, he's wide open too, Lindsay. All he had to do, he had plenty of room to throw the football against the grain. The little fake rollout right and the big tight end came left against the grain. It was wide open in the flat. It would surely been a first down. Cavanaugh reconvening the huddle now. Tony Dorsett has gained 1,116 yards. He has averaged 6.3 yards per carry. 
Elliot Walker, the other running back. Kavanaugh with the option and the pitch now. Dorsett took it and ran out of bounds at the 33-yard line. Randy Harrison ran Dorsett out of bounds at the 33, first and 10 on a 13-yard pickup. Uh, got a good block by the other remaining back, Elliot Walker. Also, good option running by the quarterback, Kavanaugh. He forced the play of the defensive linebacker. That's first down. Rodney Clark, number 22, is the flanker, part of the left side. Gordon Jones, 24, is the split end of the right side. Jim Corbett, 81, is the tight end. Kavanaugh keeps it. Now to keep it. Kavanaugh's pulled down by Doug Becker at the 40-yard line. He picked up seven yards on the play. It'll be second and three. The front four for Notre Dame. Ross Bounder, 89. Steve Niehaus, 70. Jeff Weston, 74. Willie Fry, 94. The linebackers. Jim Stock, 48. Bob Dolick, the freshman in the middle, 55. Doug Becker, right outside, 43. Mike Banks at strong safety. Randy Harrison at free safety. Luther Bradley, 20. And Tom Lefinski, 26. On the corners for Notre Dame. And it's Dorsett carry. Dorsett to the 50. Outside to the 45-40. Tony Dorsett turning it on. Luther Bradley trying to cut him off. Bradley pulls him out of bounds at the three-yard line. 57-yard run by Tony Dorsett. Let's see, two, two years ago as a freshman, he set the all-time record rushing against Notre Dame. Here it is, right off tackle. A very good cut here off the left. Breaks it back to the right side. Going to pick up 57 yards on this carry. As I said, he picked up 209 yards rushing as a freshman against Notre Dame, a record. And he almost gets into the end zone. Luther Bradley gets the stop. So now it is first down and goal to go at the three. Rodney Clark to the left side. Gordon Jones to the right side. And uh, they're asking for quiet now so they can hear the signal. So the referee, Paul Berth, here this afternoon, susp suspends play for the moment. Well, Dorsett ranks seventh in the country in rushing, Lindsay. He's averaging about 123 yards rushing a game. He's picked up 1,100 yards on 177 carries. They come out in an eye formation. Walker ahead of Dorsett. Dorsett's the tailback. Davinov's going to roll and head for the corner. Can he turn it? He gets in for the touchdown. Kavanaugh took it in. Kavanaugh, good running quarterback, fought off the tackle by Doug Becker, the linebacker on the right side. Let's take a look. You're going to see Doug Becker here have a shot at Kavanaugh. Good block there and a good fake. Now, Becker is one-on-one -on -one with the quarterback. Looks as if he can stop him. A good straight arm, and Kavanaugh gets in. Oh, the Pitt Panthers have scored early. They have a conversion attempt coming now, and Carson Long is in to attempt it. Ten points after, he is 28 for 28. He's had no problem at all. Larry Swider, the punter, holds for him. Swider puts it down. Carson Long hoops it, and it's good. So as they come back up the field, it is Pittsburgh 7 and Notre Dame nothing. Carson Long will kick off for Pitt now, and he's spotting the ball on the hash mark on the left side. He can spot it anywhere between the hash mark on the 40. Deep for Notre Dame, Terry Urick, number 40 down, not number 21. High end over end kick. Urick is waiting. He gets it to 7. He's still 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Wake outside, 35, 40, and Urick with a fine return. He's finally pulled out at the 42-yard line. Rodney Clark, downfield to make the tackle. First and 10, Notre Dame. They have the ball in their own territory, but in excellent field position. Now it's spotted near in the 43. Venerable Pitt Stadium, packed and jammed here this afternoon. For the game between Pittsburgh and the Fighting Irish. Rick Slager is the Notre Dame quarterback. Al Hunter did not make the trip. He has a hip corner. Jerry Urick, Jerome Evans, and Mark McLean in the backfield. Slager has it. Notre Dame's going to throw on first down. Intended. Intended for his tight end, Tim McAfee. It'll be second and ten at the 43-yard line. Each team this afternoon came out throwing. James Wilson got his hands on the football defensive left cornerback that time. Notre Dame, of course, loves to go to their big tight end, Tim McAfee. He leads Notre Dame in receiving with 19 receptions on the year. Come out in a wing right. Mark McClain is the wing back. Second down and 10 yards to go. Slager the quarterback. 
Here's it out to Terry Urich. And Urich gets up to the 47-yard line. He was stopped by Jeff Delaney, a freshman strong safety from Upper St. Clair, Pennsylvania. Delaney. And a four on the play. It's third and six now for Notre Dame. Pittsburgh leading by a score of seven to nothing. There's Kavanaugh, who scored the touchdown for Pitt. And a wing left. McLean pulled in motion. On a reverse, and Jurek back to the inside. He's got the first down. Jurek has got the first down. Stopped by Arnie Weatherington. Left outside linebacker from Miami, Florida. We move to further action with Notre Dame still in possession of the ball. We have 10 minutes, 14 seconds remaining to be played in the first quarter. We're at Pitt Stadium in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and it is artificial turf. Wayne is a wing back right. Yurik and Jerome Heavens are the running backs. Yurik in motion. And Flager still has the ball, and Flager is pulled down at the 31 by Randy Cousins and Randy Holloway. Cousins played the option well. He did not give Flager time enough to force the option. Watch this. Makes to the fullback, and right away, Cousins is on him from ground level. He did not give Flager a chance for the pitch. On fourth down, Dave Reeve is going to attempt a field goal now with a lock door holding. It will be a 48-yard attempt. It is down, and the boot It's good. It's the longest field goal of the year by Dave Reeve is the longest field goal so far. He is now 9 out of 12 in the field goal department. Coming back up the field, it is Pittsburgh 7 and Notre Dame 3. Dave Reeve will kick off now for Notre Dame. Elliott Walker and Gordon Jones are deep to receive it for Pitt. Gordon Jones is waiting. One yard deep in the end, but he drops the ball. Can't find the handle. Slips as he starts out. Fumbles the ball. He fumbled the ball, and who got the football? Notre Dame got the football at the five-yard line. Well, Notre Dame gets a big break here. Gordon Jones just cannot find the handle on it. Right here, he picks it up in. A little slip there, gets hit. And I think that's Jim Wilder who really made the hit. Causing the fumble, Notre Dame's got it back at the five. I think it was, well, let's see. Steve Arsini. That's what it was, Steve team. Arsini recovered the fumble. So it's first and goal now at the five-yard line. Notre Dame on the wing right. Give it to McLean, and McLean powers inside the five just for a yard as the pit defense was led by Arnie Wetherington. This telecast is presented by the authority of the C.D. Chesley Company. Any reproduction or use of this material without written consent is prohibited. The announcers on this program have been approved and contracted for by the C.D. Chesley Company. Second down and goal to go for Notre Dame. They have the ball at the Pittsburgh four-yard line. Rick Slager is the quarterback. Urich and Heavens are the setbacks. Playing at the wing back right. Evans got to the two-yard line and just inside it before it was thrown back by Ed Wilamowski. Great, great defense on the right side for Pittsburgh. There's the Notre Dame offense. Ground level shot of Jerome Heaven. And he scored four touchdowns for their eyes this year. Good pursuit by that defense of Pitt. They stand him right up. Take the strength away from his legs, and you can stop a fullback. Dennis Forehead. Just outside the one-yard line is the ball. Third down and goal to go. Pittsburgh 7, Notre Dame 3. And Pittsburgh takes a timeout. It is third down and goal to go. Notre Dame has the ball just outside the one-yard line. They're in a wing left. Terry Urich pulled in motion. And Heavens has it. He did not get in. He is pushed back at the goal line. He did not make it. It's going to be fourth down and goal to go. Don Parrish, Al Romano leading the defensive charge. So now, can the Irish get in? Can the Pitt Panthers stop them? Fourth down and goal to go. And now Notre Dame takes a timeout. Dan Devine of the Fighting Irish, well aware that we have a house full of old scouts here today. 
Ready to extend an invitation to the winner of this game. Fourth down and goal to go Notre Dame inside the one yard line. Swing a quarterback sneak. Touchdown. Flagger took it in on the keeper. And went over his right side. 